Hello and welcome to Writer Rant. Author advice in five minutes or less because I have to get back to writing and so do you. So this week I'd like to talk a little bit about pacing. So pacing is a very key element of storytelling and usually in movies you get the plot kind of moving forward but if you're like checking your watch you're like oh, man when is this movie going to be over if you're starting to doze off those are spots that are going to be you know a little slow so in writing there's kind of the same thing even if people can read at different speeds like if you have somebody who reads like a page a minute you know they're just blasting through pages you know even they might get stuck on part of your plot and so what does this really look like and the thing that I think really kind of defines a good pacing is essentially chapters, right? So chapters and sections are going to kind of define, here's the pace of your book. This is, you know, the, the chapter is kind of a big idea. The sections are kind of like many scenes in there. If you've got a scene that lasts like 20 pages and it's part of a chapter that's like 60 pages, but then all the other chapters are like 10 to 15, your pacing is off. Because then you have this huge section that... You might have a lot of exposition dumps in it, you might have a lot of other fluff that you don't really need, then, you know, maybe it's something that you say, okay, well, this chapter is too big. I need to cut it into smaller chapters. Because if you cut it into smaller chapters, uh, at least with a physical book, sometimes with an e-book, you can kind of look and see where the sections are, where the chapters are. Uh, then that way, you know, people could flip through and say, oh, hey, I've only got, you know, so many pages to the next section, so many pages to the next chapter. And that way they can, they know, like, oh man, I'm not just, i got to read 20 more pages just to get done with this, you know. So both chapters and sections within chapters should be about the same length for each level that they're in. So each of the sections should be, like, if you've got sections that are a couple pages, you know, kind of keep that consistent throughout the book. And then each chapter ends up being, you know, a couple sections. Uh, and then suddenly your pacing is, is pretty good. There's kind of a, you know, this happens, and this happens, and this happens, and this happens, and it kind of propels itself just kind of with the rhythm that you have with your chapters and sections. And so really when it comes down to it is, you know, when, when you find your readers, or your readers find themselves essentially flipping forward to see how long the chapter is going to last, yeah, it's probably going to be a chapter that's a little too long. What you really want is the readers who are so involved in the story that are like, oh man, hey, I'm already to the end of a chapter. And some of it's kind of based on genre, right? So you have kind of your thrillers have tons of chapters. They've got like hundreds of chapters and they're only a couple of pages long. And, you know, that's fine. You know, again, that's, that's the pacing of that type of genre is very fast. Uh, whereas you have like you know, fantasies got a little bit longer chapters because they're doing a lot of world building and all those kind of things. The very the thing I'm trying to get at here is you have to be very consistent because, again, if you've got kind of this uneven balance of rhythm with your book, you know, you're going to turn off a lot of readers because it's like, oh man, I finally made it through that section. But some people might not even make it through the longer sections. They might give up. And then where are you going to be? You have somebody who didn't finish reading your book, and that's not a great place to be at. So what about you readers out there? Are there books that you've come across that have kind of weird pacing, kind of uneven rhythm in their chapters and sections? You know, drop a comment down below and you know, let's talk about it. And if uh, any of you other readers or writers out there have anything that really irks you about the books that you're reading or the process of writing, uh, by all means, drop a comment below and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. Thanks for watching this episode of Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.